Hello again, this is Joseph, and I'm trying to stress the point, as in the recent videos, of when you should be sure that the battery is the defective component. Well, before we change a battery, which is costly, obviously, I have stressed many times in the videos, take a simple meter as this, which measures current by this through the cable you don't want to go and change a battery which is costly if the if some accessory is drawing current let me elaborate on that if you go you park your car as i've been saying come the next morning car doesn't start you look in your gauges your instrument panel try to put the lights on even the lights don't go on if your lights don't go on you can't crank an engine so therefore even if your lights go don't go on on your instrument panel lights don't go on your gauges don't go on that means you're probably very low on battery maybe 10 volts so therefore you're going to change the battery while you're drawing current you're still going to put a new battery and the same thing is going to happen again that's why i recommend as I've been explaining in all these videos, a parasitic drawer, make sure you do not have a parasitic drawer before you change a battery. I can't stress this point enough. How, how can this be done? Like I've been saying in the videos, over here you have, right here, DC 40 amps. You're measuring current. A parasitic drawer means you are pulling current from the battery, and over time, you're discharging the battery. Well, if you're going to put a new one, it'll crank right away. But over time, overnight again, again, your battery is going to go low. Therefore, just put this around the positive or the negative cable. This is the cable, the positive or the or negative, if it would be the battery cable. I put it around it just to make sure I'm drawing zero. If I'm drawing eight, nine amps five six nine amps whatever it is i'm drawing too much and it's useless to go and change a new battery save yourself the headache a cheap meter will do wonders for you so therefore that's why i stress this make sure again if you can't crank before you go to change a new battery put this around the negative put it around the positive put it on this amps 40 amps. You should draw about maybe one amp. Remember, some modules, some alarm systems might be working, but you should not be drawing more than eight, nine, five amps. More than, even more than one and a half amp. It'll discharge your battery over time. Do the do the the common sense thing and use this. It's a cheap equipment that I recommend. Please subscribe to my channel. Automatic. Automotive Electronics S Schematics by Joseph. Thanks for watching.